Well, each year, thousands of ag producers attend the annual Commodity Classic event. It's described as the nation's largest farmer-led, farmer-focused agricultural and educational experience. My colleague Susan Littlefield of the Rural Radio Network was on hand at this year's event to get some insights into the issues that are facing Nebraska producers. Another successful commodity classic is in the books with over 10,200 farmers attending to find out the latest and greatest in technology. But beyond that was the opportunity for many of the different commodity organizations to sit down and talk about the issues that were important to agriculture. In part, Corn Congress as the NCGA brought delegates in from across the nation, including Jason Lewis, who farms near Henderson, Nebraska, and is a member of the Nebraska Corn Board and a de delegate for Corn Congress. He talked about some of the issues and discussions on the Farm Bill. It's a Farm Bill year, so lots and lots of talk about the Farm Bill and if it'll happen and what's it going to take to happen and how much money is it going to be. Um, and so from our perspective, what we'd really like to see is we, we'd like to see it get done uh, as a bipartisan approach. Um, if not this year, hopefully before Congress gets out, maybe not this calendar year, but here soon. Um, when we've talked to our membership, uh, the things we've seen that we really want to stress was keeping crop insurance in there and keeping that protection. Um, we'd also like to see uh, protection for foreign trade. So market access programs, um, more emphasis on foreign, tra uh, foreign trade, uh, and then the last thing is that our, our members have told us that they've really appreciated the annual election um, between Art County and PLC. So we'd like to see that continue as well. Michael Dearburn is vice president of the Nebraska Corn Growers Association. He said during hallway talk in part of Corn Congress, a lot of discussion about what was going on with corn and Mexico. Any end users um, that uh, visit us during some of their trade missions, uh, reverse trade missions back to Nebraska. They constantly, um, constantly say how much they prefer um, not only Nebraska corn but U.S. corn um, for their feeding operations, their food processing operations. And while uh, you know we're we're take the administration's taking a step in the right direction with starting the uh, it's called a technical consultation process uh, between the U.S. and Mexico on this. Uh, you know, it said that that could take up to 45 days and it doesn't uh, guarantee a, a reconciliation out of it. So we're going to keep, the, uh, keep beating the drum on it and make sure that uh, when it comes to completion that if it comes to the point where, U where USTR needs to make a uh, solution process um, uh, based on the USMCA agreement that both countries signed, um, you know, we're going to make sure that that gets done. Now next year, Commodity Classic will head to Houston, Texas, February 29th through March 2nd. And we'll have a bit of Nebraska flair as one of the convention co-chairs is Brandon Honeycutt from the Nebraska Corn Board. In Orlando, I'm Susan Littlefield.